Is HPD is doing damage control to revive those cases and rebuild public trust. 13 investigates has learned an officer accused of helping a suspected criminal is now back on the job. ABC 13's Jessica Willie broke this story in August and is live with the findings of an internal affairs investigation. Jessica. Yeah, Eric, the allegations were shocking. A second generation police officer providing information to a target in an auto theft ring investigation. Well, tonight we know the department found that to be true. He was able to keep his job and has already served a suspension. After months off the job and under investigation, senior police officer Keith Roy Jr. seen here on his LinkedIn page is back on duty. Last August, the 13 year cop became the subject of an internal affairs investigation when a text message from his phone number was found on a suspected car thief's phone. According to a search warrant affidavit, the suspect sent a picture of a vehicle and its license plate. Roy responded, got it, and then replied with a picture of the vehicle registration from a computer mounted in an HPD patrol car. The action raising questions about criminal involvement and a big violation in law enforcement that earned him a suspension. Is it something you can be fired for? Yes, but is it something you can also be suspended for? Absolutely. According to the officer's suspension letter obtained by Eyewitness News and signed by Chief Troy Finner, Roy violated two HPD policies related to computer use and sensitive information. Quote, the investigation revealed that Officer Roy shared personally identifiable information with unauthorized individuals accessing and providing it, quote, expressly prohibited by policy. Roy's union attorney did not respond to a request for comment, and neither did he. An HPD spokesperson deferred to the paperwork. As a result, Roy agreed to a 16-day suspension, eight of which he was able to get paid for by using personal time off. When it comes to prosecuting. Tom Nixon is a former Houston police officer turned yeah. attorney who suggests Roy's job was saved because investigators could not prove it was more than a one-time deal. If he did something stupid and he didn't do it a lot, then he's probably going to get suspended. But if you do something stupid and you do a lot of it, then you get fired.